Hello and welcome back to episode 14 of the Livingston Career Mode. Um, not recorded one of these for five days, I believe. Also, I should probably mention my door is open. Uh, my veranda door, that is. Uh, so you may hear some things in the background, uh, such as fireworks and stuff like that, since it is, you know tail end of October um, as I'm recording this. Uh, there's like four games in this episode. Um, a few frustrating games I and mean, we start off with a very frustrating chance right there as it is. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know why it went so wide. Good save there from Anderson. Uh, I actually don't know if I know what Anderson's first name is. Morrison coming really close here. Good save from the Aberdeen keeper, Joe Lewis. And I only just found out a couple of days ago that Joe Lewis, I felt like another fucking brilliant save from Joe Lewis. Uh, it was a quite a quiet game as it was in this game. As you can see, it's the 90th minute and it's 0 no, 0. No. Game finished, 0 no, 0. No. Um, yeah, but honest to God, the, the guy pulled off some absolutely fantastic saves in that game. But I only just realised that he's actually English. Yesterday, I think it was. I just, I, I always thought he was Scottish. Um, I just think even the name Joe Lewis just sounds Scottish. Because um, I, I, there was people at my primary school and secondary school uh, with the name Lewis. Second name Lewis, that is. I mean, there was obviously people with the first name Lewis as well, but... Um, yeah. Men's have run down cutting inside and you're, you're putting your money on them scoring there really, I mean I certainly would have that was the very first chance of the game very start basically from kick off and then Kilmarnock just slipping through and I knew this was going to happen it was just so obvious I thought and I don't know how you pronounce his name and I'm not going to bother about it but it was on my transfer list uh, on my short list even at one point and then oh, such a shit goal my player literally trips over the goalkeeper and then they score from it because neither the player or the goalkeeper could actually go to the ball Mensah with a decent attempt but uh, also followed up by a decent save and then I fucking wipe him out <laughs> um, pretty sure he got a yellow from that and then Anderson was a good save rebounds right to their attacker, how typical, typical, typical is that? <sighs> then, decent opportunity, what I thought, but I was offside. I should have known it was offside to be honest when I made the pass, because I'm pretty sure it was actually quite obvious. Um, you know, they think, oh yeah, we're going to get a wee bit of luck here, 86 minute, you know, get a wee rebound, uh, not rebound, uh, consolation. And then, nope, rendered pointless, and you get <coughs> punished at the back for something that I'll never even try to do. Um, quite typical in this game, and how he's made that tackle I'll never understand, but it doesn't really matter because I was never going to win that game anyway. Uh, is it Johnson? Um, how do I feel about... St. Johnson. Now, St. Johnson are one of the teams that I feel like I, could, I should be able to beat fairly comfortably. As you can see, we had basically our strongest team up people at Mensa. Uh, John Akinde wasn't in. Um, pretty sure he does eventually get a look in later on. Uh, Bobby Burns putting a decent uh, shot. There. It looks quite fat there. Uh, I'm not sure what he actually looks like in real life, but he does look quite on the chubby side there. And he doesn't have a he doesn't have a game face, so I, I don't even I, I don't have a clue what it looks like. Um, as you can tell, but it's already the second half. Basically, nothing happened in the first half, and then Meretti gets a goal. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is him just really getting out of the first team, uh, getting a getting his first proper run in the first team anyway. Great cross, poor touch from Burns, cuts back. Uh, pass it out to Lawless and oh, I expected that to go in but Clark managed to catch it in mid-air. Oh, 
Elvis puts it into Burns and then another fucking brilliant save and that's basically the very end of the game uh, I believe we get a corner and Cassidy tries to fake shot inwards and then doesn't really amount to anything with beats at Johnson 1-0 uh, and as you can see we were all over them um, I'll probably occasionally put stats like this in uh, just to give you an idea, you know, a lot of the time that is what the stats are like when all is. Um, maybe not with the Kilmarnock game, the Kilmarnock game was a wee bit sort of probably dominated by Kilmarnock. But yeah, as you can see here, John Akindi gets uh, a start, Navarro gets a start as well. Um, I felt like Navarro deserved the chance because he has 67 rated, you know. He's one of the highest rated in the squad. Uh, Cassidy in there. Motherwell with being the lowest scoring team, having scored one goal in, what, five games? Something like that. Um, they slip up here. But, good example of John Akinde and his first touch. Uh, is probably the only thing he has in common with a paedophile. Um, however, his shot is far too good, um, and that's one thing it definitely doesn't have in common with a paedophile, because it is uh, a pretty good shot. I mean, look at this, how strong he is, he's got 92 strength. Uh, it could have been a bit of a better finish, but from where he is, I mean, that's fucking brilliant. Um, and the hearts keeper didn't really have much of a chance of getting that. And then Navarro's making the run on the wing. <coughs> and that's <laughs> so nice. Pegs the defender and leaves him for dead a wee bit. Um, I feel like he probably should have scored there. Um, but it's a lot. I mean, the start that happened to this season, that was actually a pass, not a shot. Um, the start we've had to this season is far better than last season. At this point, I think we didn't even have any wins. And we've won quite a few games what a shot that was but if Anderson's save equals it um, and he should be happy with himself with that save because <laughs> the amount of shit that he's actually let in for, it, for us has been quite poor at times and then <laughs> Navarro with the skill putting in loss and making it 2-0 that goal basically was Navarro's um, I really like Navarro John Akinde with a decent shot Carson saves it though um, I like Navarro, it definitely feels decent. You need to remember, it has 3 star skills and 5 star weak foot. And that's always good. This didn't actually touch uh, Cybold. It, The cross went in itself. Um, I don't know if I put a replay in. I don't think I did. Um, yeah, I did. Right. I don't know if it was really that clear. But it doesn't touch him on the way in. As you can see there. Very nice goal. Very happy with that. And that was uh, the cherry on top for this game. Uh, very happy with the performance. Uh, Johnny Kindy up front, obviously, with that great goal, Morrison's goal. Quite lucky, but I mean, I'm still happy with it, obviously. Uh, however, I believe there's one more signing that I make. We've made quite a lot of business as it is. I mean, five players out, five players in. Probably more than that actually because it's only showing five players out, but it'll be a lot more than that. It'll probably get six or seven players out. However, <sighs> Jack Hendry. I want to make Jack Hendry good because as a Celtic fan, <coughs> every time he plays, we lose or draw. We never ever win when Jack Hendry plays. And I don't want the luck of real life to carry over into FIFA but I want Jack Hendry to be good I want to create some parallel universe where Jack Hendry doesn't play like a fucking Eminem and plays more like an actual professional football player because it's an absolute joke the way he plays in real life today Celtic never played them we had Benkovic and Boyata at centre back uh, we played against Hibs at home we beat them 4-2 um, very good performance obviously Bruni went off um, due to injury but it was a good performance and guess who wasn't there Jack fucking Hendry so yeah uh, I'm going to wee bit of a rant considering I'm actually signing him which is uh, kind of ironic 
we give him 10k and 120k signing bonus, which I think uh, is a bit much uh, to give him. But we, I suppose we did put him on a pay cut, but we need to keep in mind that we are Livingston and he does actually accept it. And here are his stats, 78 strength, he can play centre back and right back, I believe he has 3 star, 2 star. Uh, he's not the slowest, he's got 73 pace, 73 stamina, which I swear I, I would say is fair enough considering um, he's at centre back. And Milinkovic Savic went to someone at some point for 92 million I think it was. And the next game in the next... Uh, the first game in the next episode will be up against Hibs and we will see the result next episode. So if you leave uh, if you enjoy this episode please leave a like, subscribe, um I don't know, leave score predictions or something, I don't know. Um Yeah. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Any suggestions, let me know and I will see you later.